evergreen. Okay, I'm gonna stamp my flower. Ooh, hold on, come on. There we go. I apologize if I'm moving, the, I'm sure I'm moving the camera. And I don't know, um, I don't think there's too many grooves in this table, so I should get a clean stamp, but you never know. Okay, so keep in mind when you stamp an image, it does always stamp darker and it will lighten as it dries. So that's e e <laughs> tongue tied. Evening evergreen, right? Yes, evening evergreen. Holy cow, that is such a tongue twister for me. The double E's. Okay, to the right of it, I'm going to stamp shaded spruce, which is... I love this green so, so, so much. So, so much. Oh my gosh, I can just see the brightness of it already compared to the evergreen. Okay. So to Joanna's point, stamping that, it does almost look a little black. But I'm sure if I were, I should have brought my black ink. I didn't. But if I had stamped my black, I think you would see that a little bit more on the green side. Okay, just give me a second. I got to clean my stamp after each time here. And then to the left of, the, left of it, I'm going to do Mossy Meadow. And we'll see how this one kind of compares. This is definitely more like olive -y. Wow. Nothing like it at all. I thought these would be like the three most similar greens, but not at all. There's our new um, evening evergreen in the middle. And once I show you some of the new products that we have, um, I think the evergreen is going to come in very, very handy with some of the new, um, we have a lot of nature scenes, um, woods and trees and that sort of thing. So, oh, here, this is also what I wanted to do before I go on. I also have the new Stampin' Blends. <gasps> we got new Stampin' Blends, all five of the colors. Okay, these are alcohol-based markers. They're great for coloring. Um, really, really user friendly. Two ends, a brush end and a more pointed end. So this is the light evergreen. Okay. And then the dark evergreen. Ooh, that is such a pretty color. I love that so, so much. It's looking, I feel like looking on my camera here, it looks darker, but in person it does look lighter, especially the light one does look, it almost has like a grayish hue to it, I wanna say. So pretty. Now let me set that aside. Okay, now we'll do um, soft succulent. I couldn't pick a favorite. At first I thought maybe this will be my, my favorite new ink color. But then I look at all the other ones and I'm like, but I really like that one. And I really like this one. And I really like that one. <laughs> I don't think I can pick. So soft, succulent. There's a new suite in the annual catalog that's all hanging potted plants. And this color is going to be really beautiful with that suite in particular. I should just leave my chamois out. I keep putting it away. And I'm going to compare that with, let's do Just Jade to the right of it. Oops, stamp's upside down. Just Jade to the right. I'm sorry, I know I'm moving the camera every time I ink up my stamp. Oh, my Just Jade is very inky. <laughs> That's why it's stamped that way. And this is one of our distinctive stamps, so I'm not doing it this way today, but um, a hint for whenever you have a, one of our distinctive images is to apply the ink using a dauber. So usually with our distinctive, less ink is better. But for the sake of time today, I'm not doing that. This here is our mint macaron. Ooh, I love those colors together, so pretty. Okay, so Soft Succulent, Just Jade, and Mint Macaron. And let's see what the blends. So again, light and dark. Let's do light first. Ooh, what a pretty color. I really like that. And then the dark. Oh my goodness. Yes. I don't want to commit, but I think this might be my favorite color. <laughs> There's our two blends. Okay. Let me clean my ink before I accidentally <laughs> put it in the purple or something. Okay. 
Next up, so I would normally want to compare the Fresh Freesia to Purple Posy, but we don't have that ink pad. So I'm just going to compare the Fresh Freesia to Highland Heather because there's really no other, I mean, I guess I could have brought Gorgeous Grape, but it's definitely much, much lighter than Gorgeous Grape. So this here is our Fresh Freesia. Oh, so, it's almost like a pinky purple. Pinky purple. So pretty. Oh, but see, now I see that, and I think maybe that's my favorite in color. <laughs> I guess I can't make up my mind. I'm going to compare it to Highland Heather. This is the Highland Heather, which is definitely more a purple purple. So pretty, though. Okay, that's, I can't get them. There we go. Sort of back to back. And then the blends. We have the light blends yeah it's definitely more like a pinky purple so pretty they're all your favorite <laughs> that's funny I know I keep saying that I'm like that's my favorite no that's my favorite and there's the Stampin blends really pretty oh I love them so much okay let's get another one next up we'll do the pale papaya do the pale papaya in the middle don't forget when you um with our new ink pads you can put the little color strip in the inside too don't forget when you're doing it to add that one okay pale papaya nice bright orangey yellow you know how i feel about yellow but i think there is definitely a place for this color i can't say this will necessarily be my favorite, but I feel like it'll be great for florals and like softer cards. This is so saffron. And then next we'll do the Mango Melody. I threw the Mango Melody in because it's kind of like a more orangey than yellow, but kind of along similar lines. We'll see how this one, I think it needs to be refilled, but I think it'll work. Okay. Yeah, this one is definitely, I don't know how to describe it. This is definitely more your pale, pale papaya. There you go. So saffron and the mango melody. Hello, Susan from sunny Florida. We are sunny Albany, New York today, but not very warm. <laughs> You don't see yellow in the papaya? Well, I don't think it's too yellow either, but I think it's not necessarily like a bright orange either. Really? Oh my gosh, I'm totally, I think it's like an orange yellow, no? You don't think that's like an, who said it? Um, Karen, I think, called it the peach, and I think that's a good sort of descriptive of it. Here's the light Stampin' Blends. And then we have the dark Stampin' Blends. Peach is, I think peach is like the perfect descriptive word for it. It's very much a peach. Very pretty. Very, very pretty. Okay, last but certainly not least. Let me just clean. I'm not sure if I cleaned my stamp yet. Oh, boy. <laughs> That's all I need to just go um, cross uh, using the colors. Ooh, that one opened super. That one's like super loose. Some of mine, when you first open them, are super tight. But that one was like slid right out peach it is maybe they should have done papaya maybe they should have done pale peach <laughs> it would have worked here's our polished pink again nice bright vibrant pink and gosh um flirty flamingo what i'm going to compare it to isn't necessarily i mean they don't look anything alike but they're i don't know i always thought flirty flamingo was a very bright pinky pink so that's why I picked it to compare, but I don't know. When you put them up next to each other, they don't really look anything alike. But to give you an idea, <laughs> Heather sneak in from work. I won't tell anyone, Heather. <laughs> oh, I just realized I grabbed my Magenta Madness and not Mango Melody. Oh, well, it looks like we're comparing it to Magenta Madness. Perfect peach, yes. <laughs> that would have been perfect. <laughs> So I probably would have compared it to Mango um, Melon Mambo. Did I say Mango Melody? I'm so sorry. Melon Mambo. But I have 
Magenta Madness. That's what I pulled. So there's the three of them. Kind of similar, but not quite as bright. This is definitely more just like a true pink. This is what I would call more of a bright, vibrant pink. Okay, let me get the blends for this. Here we have our, ooh, that's certainly bright. Light polished pink. Yeah, and dark polished pink. Ooh, really pretty. I like how there's a good variation in color so you can really blend those together nicely and get lots of different varieties and combinations of just using those two blends together. 